Well, here's my latest print of a video in a moment, but I want to point something out. See the little defect in the top there? The top of that print right there, that little defect? That was from me. I had this light taped across the front here, and I was afraid it was interfering with this as it moved back and forth. I was afraid that this was going to try to push up against the light instead of just coming in front of it like you see it doing here, and that that was going to affect the head. So I manhandled and removed the light. And just by touching this thing, I screwed up those top layers right there. Now you can see it's corrected itself, but I screwed it up there just from touching this, from messing with this. Now, granted, I was touching it pretty hard, but still, I was trying to be careful. And um, so the one thing is, this is very sensitive to being messed with when it gets into these higher layers. So try not to touch it pretty. And you can see I have this actually raised up on a box. And that's to make sure there's enough slack in this for this to go all the way up without getting tight and jamming. Um, it's the only problem I have with using the feet on the bottom here. What I would like to do is try to figure out some way of extending those cables a little bit because I do like the idea of putting this underneath here. The only problem is then how do I load the filament? Because the ideal place for the filament is right there. So I'll probably just live with it. Um, we'll go from there. But yeah, that light's a temporary solution anyway. I can't run it continuously because it runs too hot. But um, yeah. Now this of course is base mode and I am running it at 150% to um, come on focus, thank you. I'm running it at 150% flow rate, so I get that nice thick wall. If I had the regular thin wall, that defect there would have been a break. Well, it's running a pretty big gap, I think. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Huh. That's pretty cool. So it's tough time focusing the arcos on a moving target. Pretty cool. You can see the printer itself is pretty quiet. It's this that's noisy. And I've got my solution for that. I've got the three fans that I'm going to use to replace it. 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and 50 millimeter. That's the three fans that are inside of this thing. And these are all um, ultra quiets, brushless ultra quiets. So this noise will hopefully be gone soon. I'm gonna, if I have the, the stamina, maybe I'll do it tonight once this print's finished. Since it should be finished in the next few minutes. We're at nine hours and three minutes. And it's just about done. What is my Z height? Oh, I'm at 384, so another um, five millimeters, 5.1 millimeters. So what's that? Um, five, 21 layers. 20 layers now, 385. So another 21 layers of filament, because there's five per millimeter, right? So five times five is 25. So 25 layers of filament will be done. And then I'll be able to pull this thing apart and install these ultra quiet fans. These were 10 bucks a piece. And I think this is like $8, or something like that. This is a, I don't even know what it is. DC brushless fan. It was labeled as ultra quiet. So hopefully it is ultra quiet. So I don't think this uses plugs. So I'm probably gonna have to cut some cables to install these, but um, that's all right. I need this thing to shut up. It's too noisy. Right. More to come.